spondylolis thesis. Yeah, it's just easier to say kinky back. I'm Alan Reynolds with Southland Organics. There are a number of diseases or challenges that can affect poultry. That's no secret. From Newcastle to Marix, dermatitis to LT, but kinky back seems to be one that everyone has a harder time understanding. And I totally can see why. I have heard a number of vets and professors explain its causes and effects in different ways. Spondylolis thesis is the technical name and humans actually can suffer from it as well. It is a condition of the spine where one of your vertebra moves more than it should and slips out of place. Easy enough, right? This is where it gets tricky. There are actually two forms of kinky back that may be affecting your flocks, both of which cause swelling and compression of the thoracic vertebra. This specific vertebra is extremely important for motor function as it is the only one that's not fused and able to move freely. Swelling at this junction in extreme cases causes posterior paralysis and even death. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're always adding great content to help make your farm healthy. The first type of kinky back is a non-infectious metabolic disease, which is aggravated by fast body development. Think extreme growing pains. Due to the pain, you will find a bird with kinky back sitting on his hock or rump with his legs outstretched using its wings to walk or even walking backwards. In its most severe stage, kinky back will cause the bird to lie on its side and die from dehydration. Since this form of kinky back is related to the bird's genetic predisposition for rapid growth and metabolism, there's not much to be done outside of limiting growth factors such as feed availability. And no one's going to do that. There is, however, a second form of kinky back that we do have a little more control over caused by Enterococcus secorum, an intestinal bacteria needed for proper digestion. Bacterial spondylolisthesis occurs when bacteria migrate from the intestinal tract to the free thoracic vertebra. Once there, the bacteria cause uncontrollable infection of these vertebra resulting in compression of the spinal column and eventually paralysis. It is most common to see these effects around weeks four to six, as enterococcus are not present in the GI tract until week three. But how does this actually happen? What are intestinal bacteria doing in the bird's spine? It's actually really simple and most often comes down to stress like everything else. When a bird experiences things like heat or cold stress, their cells begin to talk to each other, chemically speaking. In the intestine, this causes junctions between the cells to open just enough to allow the bacteria to leave the gut and travel to other areas. In the case of kinky back, the spine. Once there, swelling is caused by a buildup of fluid attempting to mitigate the bacteria. Unfortunately, this usually damages the bone and causes an abscess. With the mortality rate averaging 5 to 15 percent and morbidity 20 to 30 percent, it's the disease that gives the grower the same symptoms your birds get a bad back. You're going to get a bad back from picking up those dead birds that late in the grow out. Paying attention to environmental stress factors will ensure that your birds have a quiet and calm start to their grow out, decreasing the chance for bacterial migration. Improving gut health means promoting beneficial microbiology while eliminating the harmful. This can be done using probiotics such as our big old bird. The same way we try to prevent issues in our own body are the same ways we can help our birds. Good nutrition, healthy bacteria, and exercise. Make sure those birds get lots of cardio exercise. No, seriously, 
to help with a structural issue. Make sure your birds are getting a good nutritional foundation those first 10 days. This will help with bone and body development for the growth they are about to take on. If you want to prepare for a bacterial challenge, make sure their microbiome, which is the bacteria in its environment, is a healthy, thriving system that is ready to take on those harmful bacteria. If you have any questions or if there's anything we can do for you, just give us a call at 1-800-608-3755 or email me at alan at southlandorganics.com. Until next time, take care of your back by taking care of your birds' backs.